Hey everyone, welcome to Lara Tips. In today's video, we'll be looking at five new things that are added to Laravel version 9.40. So let's get started. The first thing that has been added is this method by which we can override the exception context format. And this is contributed by Halnik. Let me show you what we can do with this. So here I have created this new invalid user exception. Let me uncomment this. Let's say we had to throw this exception because something happened in our application. And if we go inside this invalid user exception, then I have created it like this. The constructor, there is a user, and then we have a context over here. And now let me go to laravel.log and remove all these things from here. And now let me go to this laratips.test and reload. Then we can see this invalid user exception and here in the log also we can see this we want to see some extra data whenever the exception was thrown before we had to go inside this exception handler and we had to override whole render method we also have a render method over here we had to write that whole method but now we have this new method which is build exceptional context and then it will actually show these things in the laravel log i have copied this code exactly from the pull request now let me go over here and again reload and let me go here in the laravel.log file and you can see here exception and origin before let me just show you in another tab so before there was only this exception and then there was object now there is this exception and object and if you see that it is coming from over here exception and origin we are getting the same exception let me close this and here at the bottom if you see we can see that context common and specific and you can see here context common and specific and on the specific we have the data specific to our exception and the user id is one over here it is coming from this section user id is one for the user that we have passed from here since we are getting the first user so the id is one this will be very very handy in order to see extra data whenever something goes wrong in our application let me comment this out and now let us move to the second tip which is this include eloquent model observers in the model show command before whenever we ran this model show command it wouldn't show the observers but now it will show I have created this user observer and you can see here created updated deleted everything is over here and let me go here in the event service provider then here I have added this user observe user observer now if I just run php artisan model so user and hit enter then you can see here it will show me all the observers at the bottom and if there are multiple observers that are listening to the any events then also it will show over here you can see here this is the password changed observer which is actually from the laravel score so it is showing this and this is that i have created it is listing all those things and this is contributed by mike haley now let us move to the third tip that has been added which is this lowercase validation rule and this is contributed by Tim McDonald. To demonstrate this I have created it over here like this. You can see here username is admin and we have this set of validation rules required string and lowercase. This is the new thing that has been added and if the past data is not lowercase then we will show here username must be lowercase. Currently let me pass the lowercase and reload then you can see here it is returning the data which means it is passing but if i just do here a and reload then you can see here it is showing us username must be lowercase now let us move to the fourth thing that has been added which is this uppercase and it is contributed by michael and it is similar to that of this lowercase it will just look at the uppercase so uppercase like this and let me also write that over here and hit reload then you can see here validation dot uppercase and i have to write that over here as well and reload then you can see here username must be uppercase and let's say here admin and reload then it passes successfully now let us look at the fifth and the final thing which has been added is this added save many quietly 
to the has one or many and belongs to many relationship and in the previous version of laravel also we saw that save quietly method was added and now following that save many quietly also added to this has one or many relationship and belongs to many relationship which you can see here in the file change section which is basically wrapping the method inside the without events and this feature is contributed by iFlying. so that's it for this video guys thank you for watching have a great day Bye.